Welcome to Message Ops Getting Started with Microsoft Office 365 tutorial. This is part 7 of the series. In this tutorial, we will discuss SharePoint and how it can serve as a central repository. SharePoint Online provides easy-to-use capabilities with minimal configuration or setup. All you need is a link to SharePoint Online site that is configured with a document library. If you have access to a SharePoint Online site, you will see it listed in the list of SharePoint sites in the Microsoft Online Portal, or MOP. Outlook lets you not only use your calendar to set up a meeting, but the Link plugin enables you to create an online meeting and send scheduling and connection details with the click of a button. Office 365 helps with meetings, but it also has powerful tools to help you collaborate more easily with team members, business partners, and others. One of the most common challenges teams encounter is the lack of a centralized repository or document library. One important document that several people are working on typically means there are several flavors of the same file, scattered across a variety of machines. With Office 365, you can store all your company documents online in a secure company intranet site. Even better, you can activate version control and check in, check out to ensure that only one person is modifying a file at a time. Accessing the latest and greatest file is a special challenge for people on the road. Because files are stored on your SharePoint online site, they can access the files from anywhere and even make edits to them all within SharePoint. Finally, the concept of social networking and information site like wikis or blogs are fast becoming critical business tools that can help teams keep up to date on projects and other information. But without an easy to use system, many of these web-based environments become a management headache. SharePoint Online offers a one-click means to create sophisticated collaboration sites, wikis, blogs, and libraries, and makes it easy for users to contribute information anywhere they can access the web. Let's take a couple of minutes to watch a video that highlights some of the concepts and features we've been discussing. In this example, you can see that the document has an icon with a green arrow indicating that this document is checked out. When you open documents from SharePoint Online, you can check out the document or leave it checked in, all without leaving Microsoft Office applications such as Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. When you check out a document, other users who open the document will see a message at the top of their screen indicating they have opened a read-only version of the document. SharePoint Online protects the master copy by updating the version number as users check it in. The versioning process allows you to revert to previous versions of the document. You can use features of SharePoint Online without leaving Microsoft Office. Microsoft Office knows when you're working with documents that are hosted by or checked out from SharePoint Online. For example, when opening a document from SharePoint Online, the document may be set to read-only mode. You can then check out the document to keep others from editing the same document. You can also see the presence of other authors. If someone is online that you want to talk to, just click on their name and start an IM session. As you become more familiar with SharePoint Online, you will find many ways that you can benefit from using Office with SharePoint Online. For example, you can upload an Excel spreadsheet to automatically create a SharePoint Online list. Also, Microsoft Access databases can be published to SharePoint Online to make it easy for everyone to view data contained in a database. In the next tutorial, we will show you how Microsoft Office 365 replaces multiple sharing tools and organizes it all through SharePoint. For more tutorials, please visit www.messageops.com.